touch-up orders there, but I think cheese is here. Cheese is probably here, guys. Alleviate your, your cheese fear, because I believe cheese exists on the property. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Crossroads in here in the mulligan in sandbox mode. And I think all the ladies are off break, so does anyone want to spend some time with, say, Mavia or Estelle or Lulu? Yeah, we can just get all three of you guys right in a row. You're going to have a great time in the mulligan here because it's, well, it's a brothel. Let's be honest. It's a brothel. That's, that's what we've done to the mulligan. We have gambling and prostitution. That's pretty much the way my business model is going here. I do have my brand new room ready to go if another Vedetta wanted to show up. That'd be great. It's a it's a very nice room. We have the goth room over here. That's for Lulu. But we've got our other room here that is a little more cheery. It's, a, it's got sort of a, a nature theme to it, what with the deer head on it. Now, I do see there's someone downstairs looking for a room. Who are you? What's your deal? Vermella, I really, really hope you're not a Vedetta. Because you are not going to command a high price. Unless you've got skills I am not aware of. No, you're an adventurer. Okay. Um, we're not renting to adventurers right now. We're mostly focused on the prostitution, if I'm honest about things. And I am. Now, we expanded the kitchen in the last part of Crossroads Inn. And that seems to be working out fine. I see everything's been fueled. Everything is working. I could actually get rid of that torch. We're trying to peel off of torches where we don't need to waste materials on that, seeing as we're swimming in candles right now. So get me some more candly things around here. How about this candelabra, or this chandelier rather? That can live right there. And then let's sell that torch. Let's get rid of that. That'll be just a little bit extra materials that we can save. And what are we missing on apple juice? Apples again. You people go nuts for the apple juice. What are we missing on the steak? Oh, pork. Okay, fair enough. I, I could see buying some pork. And potatoes, really? We, we can grow potatoes. I can handle potatoes. Hang on just a sec here. Plant some potatoes. And um, you know what? Automatically plant potatoes. We'll just have that thing be permanently potatoes. There's one of my useless dogs that can't scare off a bear or a pig, rather. The cats can scare off the pig. The cats are doing great around here. The dogs, eh, not so much. Okay, so I've got to go find some apples and some pork. Right, I've got some money. I don't have completely no money. Hold that thought, Crossroads in. I'll be right back. I got some apples from Crossroads. I picked up some moonshine from the Shadow Monastery over there. These guys have got a decent price on pork, so I'll take a couple of those. Do I want the discount? Yeah, I've got some green scrolls kicking around. I'll take the discount on that. All right, that should satisfy most of the things I need. What am I running low on down there? I can't remember if that's ale or cider. Um, let me check my, my old uh, inventory here. That one is ale. Okay, we can produce that. Why don't you brew? Oh, actually, we can't produce that. I'm sorry. We can produce lager, not ale. All right, I'll do another order in a bit. I've only got 65 gulden kicking around here, so we're going to have to wait on the ale. Uh, guys, apple juice is coming in, though. We are getting apple juice back on the menu, so um, that that's really exciting to you, apparently. And while we're waiting for some Gurdans to tick in, no reason I can't send Stig out on another world tour. There's nothing I, I really want, but I've kind of got to go get it so we can get other things, so this can refresh. So go get uh, this this bed, apparently. It's nice bed one. Great, great bed. Fantastic bed. Go get whatever this is. Big bush. Don't ask, don't tell. Uh, Lavender Fields, you've got nothing at all. I could do some advertising. I haven't done that in a little bit. That's not the worst idea I've ever had. I can't get your thing because I'm not high enough level. What's that down there? I don't know. Can I find out? I know I don't have enough influence right now. Can I find out? Five blue scrolls, and I've got some blue scrolls. Okay, get me that, and get me that. Now can I look at your thing? Yeah, it's an oaken signboard. Oh, Stig's already on his way. All right, um... 
Roman, go get that, and then go get whatever this is down here. It's well four. Yeah, it really jumped the shark after well three. I probably don't want well four. And um, get get whatever this is too. Wait, what's what's love triangle? Hang on, hang on. What, what is love triangle? What do you sell here? Dear God. You actually got a decent assortment of stuff here. I like what... Oh, you got the Black Tears. That must be where I got it from before, somewhere in this neighborhood. Mead, I can make mead. You got some neat things here. I don't need any of them right now, but you've got things. Good to know. Um, so they're off on a world tour. That's great. We'll get some more stuff coming in. Speaking of stuff, what's my what's my general opinion of my, my main hall here? Oh, quite good. People are digging this place. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, where's Xylophone Lady? Uh, you haven't played the Xylophone in a little bit. We should probably get you to do that. People are wicked into the Xylophone. There she goes, red hot Xylophone action, and the kitty is screaming. Yeah, I'm not surprised, kitty. I don't like the Xylophone either, but apparently everyone else does. Yeah, this guy's wicked into Xylophone. That guy's going berserk for Xylophone. You're so happy. Would you like to spend some time with Mavia? I bet you would. And how about you? Lulu appears to be free. And I think Estelle is off break too. Yeah, everybody can have some time with the ladies. Great. Good. Now what? Now what do I do? I'm really just waiting for another Vedetta to show up, if I'm honest. Well, let's take a look at the hiring pool. I haven't done that in a little bit. Anyone really good? No. None of the upgraded guys. Well, Iphen, what's your deal? You're a gossiper. That's pretty good. I do like that. You're speedy. I have some scrolls. I don't have no scrolls. Is anyone looking any better? Oh, Alfonso, I know all your traits. You're brave and you're cheerful. You're a little bit of a slacker, but you're speedy. Oh, you sound pretty good, Alfonso. I could use another just grunt pair of hands around here. You're on board. Welcome to the team. You know what I could actually use is some more tables and chairs. I mean, it's not completely full in the mulligan, but it's pretty full. Just got this one empty table kicking around here. Let's, uh, let's add some space here. Move this guy over here. And then let's get a regular, one of the small tables is what I'm thinking of here. Yeah, this guy, actually, put one of the nice tables in there. Why not? Why not? Put that there. Hopefully, oh, this is probably really going to cause a pathing with issue with those barrels, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably not the best place for this. How, oh, okay, I've, I've changed my mind. Put this over here. Put this back to where it was. Uh, yeah, there. Uh, or, or there. That That's good, too. Uh, how about right there? And then how about some fancy chairs here? How about some fancy chairs in this area? One there, and can I get, like, one sort of there-ish? Can I get one on the other side? Yeah, there we go. How about, well, now that I'm doing it, how about one right here? I don't know if four people can sit at that table, but they are now. That's how that's going to go down. And it's all super fancy and it's on the rug too. I bet that's going to cause massive pathing issues. But we're still running low on potatoes. What is the potato problem around here? I've got tons. I have actually dedicated most of this to cereal for the chickens. Uh, okay. All right. Maybe, uh, well, we hired another drudge. We may as well put up another gardening plot specifically just for potatoes. So how about you lived anywhere at all? Can you live here? Is that going to cause a problem with the chickens? Put that over there. Get out of all of this and get out of all of this. I'm getting notifications that we're running out of a lot of stuff. Grow some potatoes and just keep planting potatoes in there, please. What am I out of? Oh, lots of things. Oh, a lot of things. Oh, oh, this one's just the appliance, though. That, yeah, we're out of nuts. That's not surprising. Out of nuts. Out of fat. Yeah, we sure are, aren't we? We sure. And I still need to dig up some ale from somewhere. All right. The lager down at the bottom. That I can accommodate. Brew some lager. And I'll go out to the world. I've got, yeah, I've got some money. We can do some ordering around here. Well, several orders on the way, and I just got a little notification that we got a fame point in here somewhere. Yeah, all right, there we go, one fame point. What the, the heck do I want? I suppose I could do the composter. I don't really, not really fussed by that, if I'm, if I'm brutally honest about composting, and I am. How about 
new trade routes. You know what? I want to get out in the world and do a little more advertising and opening up new trade routes. Lowering the price of that is not a bad idea. Ah, I see you're not growing anything. Grow. I've got a few things doing potatoes right now. Get some garlic going on right now. I'm being told I'm running out of an ingredient, but I have a lot of orders on the way. So hopefully the ingredient that I am out of is on the way. Can I get some more storage in here? Speaking of things that are on the way, could I possibly maybe squeeze another storage shelf in here at all if I actually go to the right menu, Dave? I'll bet I can. If I put this here, is that going to mess up pathing? Possibly. How about if I move the rat cage, I don't know, over here and just kick this back one notch? That should solve the problem if there is a problem, and I don't know that there is, but I'm going to assume that there is because this is Crossroads Inn, which has never mastered pathing. Okay, there's just a menagerie going on out here. I don't think many of these animals belong to me. What are you? I have no idea what that is supposed to be. What are you? What do I do with you? Who scares you away? Do you belong to me? No, uh, you should. You absolutely should. Somebody go be really, really nice to that kitty and that kitty. I want all the kitties, please. The dogs I'm less fussed about because they're kind of useless. They barked away the kitties. Bark away whatever that it was. Was that a rat? I don't know if that was a rat. One of my security staff seems to be on the case. There it is. What, what do I do with you? Can I kill you and make you into sausage? The dogs are having a go, but they're not... They don't appear to be very successful. Oh, how am I doing on wood now that I happen to be looking at this? I might be running low on wood. Where's where's all my orders? I did order them from quite a ways away. Okay, how much money do I have and can I do some advertising with it? What if we headed down to Blood Village here? Is there anything I can do with you? No. Doesn't seem like I can actually bump up a new trade route or anything like that. Ah, Krakot over here. I know I don't have enough influence. What if I did? What if I gave you some scrolls to make a some trade route? And actually, I may as well open up your decorative. And um, you know what? Have another one. Have another one of those. Now, what can I do with you these days? What have you got in terms of 1900 for a trade route? You got cabbages. That's terrible. I'm going to take it. And then what have you got for a decorative? You have another Alembic. Eh, what the heck, Stig, go get that. And while you're out, go get whatever this is. Oh, leek soup, that's actually not what I wanted. I wanted your decorative. A stone bench, oh, that sounds very good, Stig. Go get that. No sign of a, no sign of a bathtub, right? No, or anything along those lines. Um, there's another portrait of me. I know it's not me. Get your hands off the keyboards. It's just in my mind. Sweet milk pudding in my mind, it's me. That's a lot of complicated ingredients, though. I'm going to pass on that for right now. But what's your uh, what's your decorative? Oh, that's the Alembic again. All right, go get this banner, I guess. I, oh, it's green, allegedly. I believe that's blue, but we're going to say that's green. There he goes, my star employee racing over the hills and through the fields to the goat farm or whatever. Anyway, he's off to go get an Olympic and then a, a bench. Oh, is that, an, is that a different gambling table than what I already have? I don't know because I don't have enough influence over there. What would it take for me to get the influence? Another five scrolls. Okay, sure. Why not? And then what would it take for me to get a trade route going with you? 1650. All right, I can't really afford that right now, but we may look at that down the road. Ooh, what is that? I want that. A, oh, it's the Yorvale counter. Um, Bruno, go figure out how that works. Why do you have a bug over your head? Oh, you got bugs. Like, you're filthy. How have we let you into the, the mulligan? Yeah, you've got, like, disease bugs on you. Well, I'm not sending any of the ladies to work with you. That's that's for sure. I guess you're probably going to give us bed bugs, and then we'll have to clean them up. Uh, you, however, can spend time with Mavia, and y oh, you don't you don't want to spend time with any of the ladies? Okay, hey, you know whatever you're into or not into, that's fine. Uh, you can spend time with Estelle, and you can spend time with Lulu. Yay! Oh yeah, lot lots of people have got bugs around here. I feel we shouldn't let these people in. Is there some sort of screening process 
that we could do at the door to check for bugs and then not let them into the mulligan, ideally. Like, make them go away from them. Yeah, there's, like, flies and stuff buzzing around this guy. Well, I guess we'll just learn to cope with this information. Yep, Mafia is doing her thing, and I'm sure that gentleman is very, very happy about that. How's our guest room doing? I haven't really checked in on this in a while. People love the appearance. And the size, and the cleanliness. Yeah, they're actually pretty happy about this. Could I therefore charge more for that? So where is my guest room? There it is. Yeah, the guest room's a solid five stars. People are digging this room. All right, how much to just make you met about it? Quite a lot. Okay, okay, there we go. At 79, you are still wicked happy to spend the night here. And that almost doubled the rent. Oh, I dig that. That's well done. All right, good. So you're going to pay a lot more for that. Great. Eh, we're out of cheese again. And what are we out of here? Beans? Oh, I can deal with beans. Oh, yeah, I have been a little lax on getting the trellises up and running. All right, so beans and beans there, please. What else are we out of? Beans again. Okay. Yeah, that's on me. I wasn't keeping an eye on the trellises. Fish. Oh, okay. I can cope with fish. And again with the pork. How quickly are we going through pork around here? Fish I can cope with. And ale. I, I never did get the ale. I completely spaced out on getting the ale. All right, mostly ale and fish, which sounds like a terrible combination, but hey, what do I know? All right, everybody hang tight. I think the ladies are on a break right now, but when I get back, there may be some adult entertainment for you guys. Oh, we've been accumulating a lot of new decoratives on Stig's many, many world tours that I haven't done squat with. So Banner 2, which is a fine banner. There's nothing wrong with that. It's very expensive, though. It's 500 I'd almost rather get the Oaken Signboard, but the Oaken Signboard has no traits. Now, I am in no way opposed to blowing my money on useless decoratives that provide no game value, but... Not with only 1186 gulden on the old gulden counter. Let's just table that idea for right now. Speaking of tables, how's my new table working out? Eh, somebody's sitting at it. Good enough. Fair enough. How's everything else going around here? Is there anything I need to know about? Did you just get sick? Was that your little pop-up there? Are you getting sick from things? Oh, Estelle, are you off your break? Yeah, you're totally off your break. Uh, Estelle, Mavia, Lulu, to the front desk, please. Well, Xylophone Lady is back in action on the stage, and the place is going crazy. The fans are loving it. I'm surprised we don't have a little Xylophone mosh pit going on in the center here. Um, how's the lady? Speaking of ladies, are you guys off break? Uh, Estelle is off break. All right, Estelle can see you now. Uh, the other ladies are on, on break. That's fine. They, you know, you need a little bit of time off between uh, clients, customers... And with the Gouldens I've got kicking in, considering that the guest room is doing so well right now, I'm really keen on that. Let's get uh, more of that going. I'm going to get, uh, no, that's the staff room, the guest room. There we go. I'm going to do a little expansion up here. Get Bring that to, come here, come here, come. Uh, I can't quite do it that way because I don't have anything on that side down below. But that's fine. We can bring it here and here and here and here. Yeah, give me all of that, please, and then let's do some redecorating now that that banner is hovering in midair. This can go over here. I wonder if I should upgrade to the super fancy beds at this point. Actually, I have a lot of beds. I've accumulated many, many beds. So the difference between nice bed three and nice bed one, nice bed three is demonstrably better. And that's what I've kind of been favoring anyway. Nice bed three. I could upgrade to fancy bed three, but that's going to throw off the little Adrian monk that lives in my head. So how about we did bed and bed. And if I, no, I can't put one there because that's definitely going to be a pathing issue. But I could put one, I don't know, I guess. Can I get one in there? What kind of space did I put for... Yeah, I don't need these this far apart. Okay, this can go to here, this can go to here, and then this one can go to 
here, but that's probably going to cause a problem with the desk, and I'm not 100% sure if I care about that, but we will move the desk over here just for safety. And it's kind of dark in here over in this corner, so let's get some candly things going over here. How about the, uh, yeah, just the candelabra. We'll just pop that right over here. Okay, that's three more beds that can generate more money than they did at the beginning of this part. And being told I've run out of something again. What is it now? Cheese? I thought I just ordered cheese recently. Beans were working on the beans. Don't worry about the beans. Beans are coming eventually in the fullness of time. Ale we're out of again. Has my order not just shown up? I think that's... Okay, they're, they're bringing some stuff in now. In fact, I think that's ale right there. So don't sweat that right at the moment. In fact, it just... I think it just went away that I didn't have it. Okay, um, porridge is the beans and stuffed turkey is the cheese. I'm pretty confident I just ordered cheese recently. Kind of off recording. I was just doing little touch-up orders there. But I think cheese is here. Cheese is probably here, guys. Alleviate your, your cheese fear because I believe cheese exists on the property. I would love Crossroads Inn, and we've talked about this before, I would love Crossroads Inn to have some sort of auto order feature. You know, keep in stock a certain amount, and if that stock is reduced, then an automatic order will come in if we can afford it. Um, plant, we haven't done onions in a while, and I'm mildly concerned we might start running out of onions. So potatoes in this one, and garlic in this one. That'll be good. Oh, I think I had you on auto planting for potatoes. Sorry. Well, potatoes will be in the next one. I would love to see auto ordering. Like, hey, we're going to do an order for all of these things that you're running out of, and it's going to cost this amount of gurdens. Is that okay? And I could click yes, and it would just auto order it. It's not that I particularly mind going out and doing orders. It's just it occupies a lot of the game in my eyes, in my opinion. It occupies a lot of the game just going out and ordering stuff, which is not the most interesting part of the game to me. Speaking of the most interesting part of the game, who's on break? Uh, Mavia can see you, and um, Estelle can see you. I believe Lulu is on a break. Yeah, Lulu is on a break right now, but the other two ladies can take care of whatever air quotes needs you may have. Well, funny thing that I'm just noticing, we are, we are running lower, lower, not low, lower on candles. We've used about two-thirds of the obscene quantity of candles that we used to have. I should probably just do a quick bit of candle making, except it's been so long I've forgotten where I put the candle maker. It's I know it's around here somewhere. I, I have made candles. I made way too many candles, in fact, and now I kind of don't remember what I did with it. Did I put it upstairs for some reason? I feel like that's something I would have done. No, no, not up here either. Okay. Um, if somebody spots the candle maker, could could you let me know where it is? I thought it was Oh, oh, never mind. Everybody hold the phone. Hello, my dear. Hello, hello, hello. I see you are seeking employment. Key. Oh, she's supposed to be one of the really, really good ones too, so I am told in the comments. She's like top of the line. She's super good, uh, allegedly. Um, I noticed that your hair color does not match your hair color. You've got everything else going on. You got all the flowers in your hair and the sticks and feathers. You did you like crawl through a bramble branch or something? Anyway, uh, your hair color does not match. However, I don't care because I want to rent you a room. Uh, which which room do I have available? Uh, that oh they all oh. I wish I knew. Oh, that room's already rented. There we go. So private room. I should rename all of these. I should totally go through and rename all of these. But that room is not rented, and you can have it. It's got a bit of a wildlife theme. I hope you're okay with that. Can I please put you straight to work? I know you haven't even made it in the door yet, but Key can see you now. Oh, and Estelle's free, too. I, I, Estelle, I, that was not to denigrate you in any way. You have been with me for a long time, and you're a valued, valued member of the Mulligan team. But Key's here, and Key's getting put straight to work. Air quotes, work. I'm being told I don't have enough mugs, and I flat out don't care. We have a new vedetta. 
There she comes right now. There she comes into the wildlife room with the deer head on there. Um, we'll, we'll go somewhere else because it is extremely graphic, even with the, you know, censorship things on um, the little sort of fig leaves that they put on their um, bits. Anyway, it's still very, very graphic, so we won't look at that. But now I've got four vedettas. I have been told there are up to seven, which is a lot of... It, it's a lot of prostitution in the mulligan to have seven. I thought there were only five, but apparently a couple more have been added. I'm still waiting for the guy to show up because we're very open-minded here in the mulligan. We don't, um, you know, we're very modern. We're very free-thinking. We embrace everyone. Whatever you are into, we are into here in the mulligan. And I'd like the guy to show up. Just because I want to have an egalitarian brothel, I think it should be open to anyone. So we'll keep an eye out for another vedetta. And obviously my next move is I need to create another room for that vedetta. But we've got four now. Four. This is 100% a brothel. This is what Crossroads in. This is the path that Crossroads in has taken me on. But we'll pick up some more of this again next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. More of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. So, when I stab this guy in the neck, which I'm about to do, don't talk about it. Just keep stum, please. Yes. We've got peasant boy, peasant girl, a few chickens, a bridge that doesn't work, and a giant mutant alien. I think our town is off to a roaring start right now. I have a badass tattoo, six-pack abs, and a belt buckle that says aloha. This is amazing. I want to be this guy.